Good evening slash afternoon listeners and welcome to this episode of the podcast. I'm Lindsay Pogue and I am here with my co-author and co-host Lindsay Sparks aka Lindsay Fairley and we are chatting about <laughs> I feel I'm sorry I'm hearing I'm listening to my voice right now uh, we'll come back to this but um lock picking voyeur okay we're gonna go back to that anyway lock picking voyeur yeah we're gonna go back to that Okay, so anyway, um, we are chatting this episode. It is a very special episode. It's just the two of us. It is Woo! episode number 50, okay? 50, and 50. we want to do something fun and a little different. So uh, today <laughs> we're going to be chatting about some of our favorite books we've read on the podcast, some of our favorite books in general, and la di da di da Obviously, lots of fun book stuff. So um, let's just be really clear. We're going to be talking about so many books. There's going to be yeah. so many spoilers. <laughs> So yeah. just beware. Um, and we also don't know what each other's picks were. So I can't even tell you which books we're going to be having, you know, talking spoilers about. So anyway, anyway, welcome to this episode of No Shelf Control. Here we go. It's going to be fun. Um, all right, Lindsay. Yes, it is. I'm trying to think what day it is. It uh, is Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. So it's Wednesday. I feel like it's the end of the week, but it's not. It's really not. It is the 19th of January yes. already. I know. I just paid my taxes yesterday. Yeah, me too. Um, so <laughs> I thought I was turning 39 this year, but I'm only turning 38. That. So wow. that's exciting. Yeah. Because right, I always round up. So I've apparently been rounding up all year. <laughs> yeah. And your birthday is has not that, happened yet, right? It's yeah, been a couple no. days. Yeah. So anyway, um, Good news, I'm younger, a year younger than I thought. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I mean, does it really matter? Anyway. Yeah, um, sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, so the weird, I got distracted when I was doing the intro because Dennis watches, he is, I was telling you, you know, off, offline uh, in the past that um, my husband loves watching YouTube videos and yeah. one of the people he subscribes to is I think his name is the lock picking lawyer I think he's a lawyer but he talks like this welcome to this episode this is blah 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 and he'll be like we're going to be picking this safe today for this lock and he just talks like this and I'm just like is this guy for real like is that how he really talks <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I could think of. So um, I want to make sure that we put a link to the lockpicking lawyer uh, in the show notes so everybody knows <laughs> what he sounds like because it's really funny. And and Dennis just watches this. Yeah. Um, I'm like, so are you going to like rob a bank or something? And he's like, I don't know. He's just, it's really cool to see how this guy figures it out. And it's, you know, it's like some super genius thing. I don't know. Does he try lockpicking no, himself? No, no, no. But he's a puzzles guy, you know. So yeah, he, he really likes puzzles and he like, you know, is the mechanic in him. He likes all the really intricate parts of moving things. And so yeah. I think for him it's just kind of fascinating. For me, it's extremely boring. <laughs> Especially with like the guy's that. voice. Yeah. Welcome to this episode of the lockpicking lawyer. <laughs> like, oh my God, way to sell it, dude. Yeah. Way to sell it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway, um, but I digress. So what are you drinking this lovely evening? I know it's in the later evening for both of us, so there's no excuses, right? Mm, no excuses not to drink. Is that what you right. mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 sorry. And also it's our 50th. Yes, right? Oh, uh, yeah, so obviously. So I am drinking something. red wine. <laughs> okay. I know everybody is stunned, speechless. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think so. How about you? Um, I actually have this little cocktail that uh, I've been, it's a little watered down now. I've been sipping on it for like two <laughs> hours, but, um, it is like a Caribbean, I think it's kind of like a, um, like maybe a tequila sunrise ish, but it has vodka in it. And it honestly, I will probably never drink it. It's like, like a Caribbean something because it's so sweet. It's like, it's like eating, a. A super sweet popsicle. So I just like that you called it a little cocktail and the cup is like, oh, yeah, as it's, big a giant, as your it's face. my giant Budapest. Uh, yeah, my, my <laughs> Budapest cup from Budapest. So, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, it's Dennis was actually cocktail. making it a little one and then he's like, no, nah, because he wa <laughs> I wanted him to thin it down with club soda. So he's like, well, we're gonna need a big guy for this one. So, <laughs> wow. anyway, so cheers. cheers. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. It's so sweet though. It's like eating cotton candy or something. And you know how mm. I am. Okay. Yeah, um, like makes me cringe. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, very exciting. Um, hence why that's full of condensation and melted ice cubes. Yeah, <laughs> you need some more club soda. Um, anyway, now that everybody's just like ravenous and wants to try this drink. Um, <laughs> Your liquid on. cotton candy drink. <laughs> yeah, I watered mm. down one. Uh, okay, what about projects? Um, I am, shocker, shocker, this is like second shocker of the night, right? I am working on on Song of Scarabs and Fallen Stars. Oh, Still. Um, yeah, so I'm doing my final read through actually, which has been <laughs> awesome. I am. So my final, um, my like final pass, full pass that I make through my manuscripts is my, I read it out loud. And um, it's usually like a very solitary process um, other than like the first book that I ever wrote that I think you read out loud for me because I was sick and couldn't read it. Do you remember? Oh, that? I forgot about that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't know why we felt like I had a deadline because nobody was waiting for this book, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> I am actually reading it um, out loud. We have a hundred pages left out of like almost, or out of like 450 pages. I'm reading it out loud in my discord um, group. And, uh, I've had like a group of five-ish, sometimes sometimes more, sometimes less, um, ladies in there with me at all times. And <laughs> it's been awesome and hilarious to see their reactions to the story in real time and also super helpful. And I'm like, God, I really hate this word. Like, what's another word? And then I get like five options and I'm like, ooh, I'll take that one. No, that's fun. Yeah. And um <laughs> To make things even more exciting. Um, so I think every single beta reader that I have uh, mentioned that it was kind of racy. And um, so <laughs> today is the first time that my mom decides to grace us in the Discord server with her presence. Um, it was like right as we were starting a racy chapter. And, uh, and <laughs> I already have a really hard time reading those parts aloud. Like everybody knows when it's about to start getting exciting because I'm just like giggling like a little 12 year old. And, uh, <laughs> and so the whole thing just devolved into like, mom, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> so I cannot read this if I know you're listening to me. Oh my God, Terry. Oh, that's hilarious. I know. I felt Did so she bad. text you and be like, Lindsay? No, she did. So she did text me, but it was hilarious. She was like, I don't know how to leave. <laughs> She's like, I can't get out. Yeah. And then she said that she didn't know how she got in in the first place. So the group that's thankfully funny. came forward and uh, helped her figure it out. Because I, I'm never on on my phone. I'm only on my computer and it looks totally different. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, I don't know how you leave either. <laughs> so that was the exciting story of what happened today. Oh, my, my Lanta. Group, while reading a racy, racy scene from A Song of Scarabs and Fallen Stars. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're pretty racy. So that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I love so, it. I mean, at least it wasn't like. And I know your mom. So that's why it's so <laughs> extra funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> she's probably going like this and she's like oh, i know this is she's herself <laughs> blushing yeah. just at, at, like the idea of it she reads all my books by the way so you know but it's different <laughs> when her daughter read reads it. it out loud i know her. i was like i don't really I, I can't handle the idea of you hearing me say these words <laughs> can't handle it that's funny and you know what these words are i can't handle it <laughs> so <clears throat> how about you what are you working on <laughs> Uh, I have a few chapters left um, and the revisions for my first solid draft of City of Ruin. So um, that feels really good um, to be almost done with that. However, I did have a character pop up today that wasn't actually meant, like it wasn't, she wasn't planned, but then it just felt right to add her. And then she suddenly, I was like, oh my God, but what if? And then she became this really cool villain. And I was like, oh my gosh, what if, what if, you know, and they started like taking yes. off and I was just like, this was in part of the plan. So now I'm like, I took a step back for, you know, it was almost five o'clock anyway. And I was like, all right, Lindsay, take a step back because make sure that if you really want to change these last chapters that you really think about how it all, you know, is going to pan out and stuff before you sit there and like rewrite them, you know? So 
anyway, but I was just like, oh my God, it's such an interesting addition that I didn't have there originally, you know? So that's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I only have a couple chapters left and then it goes to my alpha reader and off my desk for a little while, which is nice because there's a lot of other things that I feel kind of pressing that I want to work on. So mm. that'll be nice. I'll have a little bit of a break and I really want to start outlining and working on Sea of Storms. So, um, yeah, feels good. Is that feels, your, that's your next project? That's the next one. Yeah. And they're all going to be connected. So, um, that's why like, I want to get this one dialed in as far as like, it's one of those things where, you know how, and I'm sure you've done this because you write series, even though they're all going to be standalones, it's like I, I, and I have a general idea of how I want each book to tie in. I mean, unless you get a lot of the finer stuff figured out, like you could still screw it up. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's like, I want, it's one of those things where I really want to get it solidified while, before, like I, before I send it to betas so that I don't have to change a bunch of, bunch of stuff after they read it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I just really want to. Um, while the alpha reader has it and is, she's giving me her feedback, I really just want to be clear about what this next book is going to be out. So I'm covering, I'm adding all the things I need to in this first one and it's all going to transition the way that I hope it will, you know? So anyway, so I'm, I'm excited to dive into that and, um, get that down. And, and that one's going to be more of like a, um, kind of like a Robin Hood-esque story. Ooh. So I'm excited about it. Just be shipwrecks and stuff. So, and the first one is Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, it's more like a Beauty and the Beast, like Jane Eyre crossover. That's fun. So, yeah, it's a little more romancy, not as much adventure. Um, but I kind of have to set up the world, so there's only so much I can do uh, for this one. But I think it kind of sets the stage for the, what the, like the actual world is like. And then the next, the two books after that is when it gets really fun with all the action and adventure and survival stuff. So I'm excited. I think that sounds fun. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I've been working on. Um, haven't been doing much reading though. How about you? No, I read um, The Bone Witch by Ivy Asher for my reader group book club. Mm -hmm. um, and that was really fun. And I'll probably continue with that series um, after I finish with this, but I need to keep my head in this right now. Um, so I'm just reading Song of Scarabs and Fallen Stars. Um and uh, I'm really excited because I'll be, I'm going to be, re as soon as I finish this, I'm going to, or finish reading it out loud. There's a couple little notes I've made for myself throughout the manuscript that I need to go back and tweak tiny things. Um, but uh, I, um, I'm going to hand that to my um, editor early. I'm, I don't think she's going to start it early. I'm just going to like get it away from me early. And um I'm going to start recording me reading uh, Echo and Time, which is the first book in that whole world, the whole Echo world um, that I wrote way back in 2013. Uh, and I'm going to be releasing that as a podcast. Uh, so I'm really excited about uh, reading through that. I haven't read through that in forever. I've listened to it a bunch of times, but I haven't like actually read it with my face. <laughs> with your voice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with my eyes and voice. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, in a really, really long time. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm excited about uh, reaching some new readers that way. So, and I just love reading out loud. You know that. So yeah, I'm really excited. That's really cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get to drink a glass of wine when you sit down and do that? Or is it during the day? So you don't Well, I'm definitely going to need to reach a glass of wine when I get about three quarters of the way in. So <laughs> now I'm having to record the, the racy scenes. <laughs> For wait, which one? For this one? For Echo in Time. Oh, Echo, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it gets pretty... It was funny. Like, Echo, the Echo trilogy was racy. And then Cat was, like, not not too racy. I mean, it had its racy bits. It was more, like, foul language and violent. <laughs> um, but then now I'm just, like, hardcore. Both. <laughs> just, like, go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I've been too restrained with Atlantis Legacy. <laughs> Yeah, that one doesn't really have any of that stuff in there, huh? No, it's very family friendly. It's like kind of family friendly. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. That's yeah. fun though. Yeah. Okay, well, um, all right. So I honestly, I've actually been trying to catch up on my podcast. So I haven't been doing any listening to audiobooks since our last episode. Yeah. Um. I don't think. And then I haven't read anything either. I've started, um, I've started a couple, but I've 
it's not worth mentioning because I'm like not even two chapters in. So yeah, anyway, I yeah. do want to mention um a movie that I watched that I really liked, mm-hmm. um which was News of the World. Have you seen that? Mm-mm. It's a Tom Hanks movie. It's like a western. Oh yeah, I've seen the I've seen the like movie trailer or whatever. Oh, it was really I loved it. My husband was kind of meh on it, but I just thought I was like totally tearing up and everything at the end. I'll um, check it out. News of the world. Yeah. News of the world. It was like, it kind of reminded me a little bit of true grit, but, um, more heart. Yeah, maybe. But, and, and like, he was like a newsman, like he would go from town to town and read the news. He wasn't like a cool. gunslinger or anything. <laughs> so yeah, I, I would recommend it. Um, yeah. You know, actually, it's funny that you bring that up because I think one of the reasons why I haven't been reading much is because, you know, Dennis had COVID for um, a while and before that we were dealing with all the cat stuff. And so um, I, while Dennis was sick and I, I had the whole, like pretty much the whole house to myself because Dennis was in the room for like nine days straight or whatever. Um, I was able to binge watch a bunch of shows, which I wouldn't, I never get to do so I that's probably why I haven't been reading a lot too um I watched Wheel of Time which I absolutely loved Yay! and I rewatched season one of The Witcher and watched season two of The Witcher which was even better than the first season I yeah, think I'm um, excited to do that so that was really fun and I love getting lost in worlds like that and now I'm sad that they're both over and I'm like hmm I know there's a gazillion million shows I haven't seen but none of them woke up there I know. So I'm having withdrawal. So now I think that's why I'm like, oh, I'll start some books. <laughs> um, so like now, since we're like totally off topic talking about TV, um, I, the show that we're super into right now, it's so ridiculous, um, but is really actually like, it's great in the way that it makes fun of itself um, is Cobra Kai. Oh, I've heard a lot of my sister watches that. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard that. that That's pretty in. fun. So, yeah. Um, That's cool. But I know people aren't here to hear us talking about TV, so. I know. <laughs> okay, so just to, you know, kind of reiterate, we we're talking about um, the last 50 episodes and the books that we read and really enjoyed. Um, but we're also talking about um, some of our books that we've enjoyed writing and, you um, books that we want to read, what's on our wish list, that sort of thing. So why don't we dive in to um, the episodes slash books that we have liked the most. Uh, I don't know if you were able to narrow it down to just one or if you have a couple, but let's talk about the um, the books that we've read for the podcast and what are your, what's your number one or and or number two? Um, okay, so I have a number one okay. and then I have two through five <laughs> that are all even. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so w- which, how, how many do you have? Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six ish. <laughs> so yeah, I'm in the same boat. Okay. So go ahead. What's your number one? Uh, world departed by Sarah Lyons Fleming. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, which is a great book for sure. I love everything that she writes. My mom, I, my mom is actually reading her, um, until the end of the world series right now she's on book three and she's like oh my god I was like mom I've been telling you to read Sarah's books forever and then I told Sarah that my mom was reading her books and she was like oh ha, ha. um but but um I love my that. mom's like wow they're really violent <laughs> oh my god. and I was like yeah but they're really good she's like yeah but they're really gory but, but she was already on book three and I she just started like two days ago so clearly that's she's hilarious. enjoying them yeah, she's clearly and they're them. long so yeah that's fun yeah yeah I feel like maybe has your mom not read post pop books books other than our maybe series not, yeah. other than the ending series no and I was like mom and that's not very gory though either though yeah and she's like I mean your guys <laughs> no, she's like your guys's book was like you know it had disturbing parts but it wasn't so like gory and I was like mom it's a zombie book like what what are you expecting like like butterflies that's hilarious is your mom says podcast because she's gonna be like Lindsay (laughs) she does hi mom I love you (laughs) I kicked you out of my discord group today sorry that's too funny that's too funny 
Um, so I kind of did it a little differently. Like I, it was hard because I had a bunch of books that I really enjoyed, but I was trying to think like really enjoying them and like really liking them is one thing, but what books maybe want to go on and keep reading in the series is kind of, I guess what I did. Mm. And so, um, and the, the funny part about that is I guess that, um, Kay Webster was on and the two books that she had, the <laughs> Hood, Hood River Rat and Triple Threat. Both of those I continue to read and or pre-ordered the next book. So, yeah. um, so I put her at the top, um, but I also love my romance. So yeah. that's probably why. Um, I do want to say um, Triple Threat is another of mine. Oh yeah. Okay. I cannot wait for the next one. <laughs> yeah. No, it's super, it's super I fun. So excited. Super fun. Uh, what else is on your, okay. So wait, you said that one was on your list. Um, yeah. What other ones made your list? Um, Say Yes by Candy Steiner. I really liked that book. I think I loved it because it was in um, Florence, the setting, and the 90s, the nostalgia. Yeah. I just fun. really, I really loved that book. Wasn't it hard trying to go back? Because we've had, I went about, through, I had to, books. Yeah. I did too. And it was like, I remember liking them, but I was like, which ones do I actually remember? Deva yeah. Like, it's hard mm -hmm. because I'm trying, I've read a gazillion books in between, you know? So yeah. it's, it, I had to really, it was hard for me a lot. Yeah. Um, I put on my list also a stay a spell by Juliet Cross. That was the one with the wolf boy, the, um, the audio, well, no, it wasn't the audio book. But it was um, the witches in New Orleans and the guy. Oh, that was his really wolf good. Trying to get out, yeah, um, yeah. and I just love the way she really wrote cute. that because she also had the wolf's point of view in yeah. his head, which cracked me up. I thought it was super weird. Yes, I loved the that. wolf was hilarious. Yeah, so I put her was his on name my list. Mateo or something. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I really enjoyed that one. Um, and I, the people I remember us talking about this and who we really wanted the next book to be hers wasn't for a couple more books. And so I wanted to wait and wait until all the books were out to read through the rest. Because oh, yeah. the, the character we really wanted to read, like, she's like, I know everybody wants her book to be next, but there's a reason why it can't be. And so I've been trying to be patient. And yeah. I think the fourth book's finally coming out. So I'm going to start um, reading through those, but I don't know. So yeah, I put her on my list just because I thought it was super fun. I really enjoyed that one. And yeah. I think it's because I had just gone to New Orleans. So I was like super good geeky about it. Cause I'm like, oh my God, I can totally picture it. <laughs> like the way uh, she described like everything. So that's hilarious. <laughs> um, what else is on your list? Um, uh, Elderon Chronicles by Tara Benner. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah I so. never... Yeah, I remember really liking that one too. Yeah. Um, I devoured her fringe series. Oh my God, so um, did I. They're so good. And then, but this one, um, I still enjoyed it, but I guess I just, yeah. Yeah, if I if we haven't said this before, um, we, I'm, I, I'm speaking for both of us, so feel free to mm -hmm. tell me if I'm wrong. But okay, I, I highly, highly, highly recommend the fringe series for anybody who liked Divergent. Highly yeah, recommend. for sure. Like, yeah, the Fringe series is great. Yes. That was the first book I read by Tara and I yeah. fell in love with her writing. She's really straightforward and it's yeah. just, she was really like clear, crisp writing yeah. and she's great. Yeah. Oh, Harper and Eli. I think that was his name. Oh my God. It's been like two years oh, since I read Oh, actually that. you just remind, uh, yes, that is um, their names. Um, but you just reminded me of another book that I really loved, which was, um, and I can't even, I know it wasn't by even that long ago. Else? No, not by her. Um, but that was on the podcast and it was an audio. It was the audio first. I think she was just on here. Oh, now I'm going to have to go look. Um, was it Emma Chase? The doctor one? Yes. What was that called? <laughs> um, the memory of, a, uh, memory of, a, no, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, getting real. Was it oh, getting, getting real? real? Yeah. Getting real. Yeah, because it when it, she was dating the dad, the dad. Yeah, yeah, I really liked that. I thought that was really good. The audiobook was so good. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was really good. Yeah, and um, I also really, really loved um, the Henchmen series by um Jay Bennett. Oh, it's another yeah. of our writing buddies. Yeah, who we had way early on. These were like early, early episodes I'm pulling back from. But I loved, I loved her. Um, I loved that series. And uh, I'm really glad that we read it for this because 
I've been like author friends with her for so long, but I hadn't read any of her books. And so, yeah, I was really, I remember you were like, wait, is she going to be with who I think she's going to be with? And she I was not, you, that was, yeah. I was like, no, but I, I remember you were like really beating yourself up trying to figure that out. Yeah. That funny. No, I loved it though. It was really fun. I still think about it. So I, um, I know you weren't on this episode with me, but, uh, Casey, I don't even know if you read the book, but Casey Albon, the with shield and ink and bone. I really mm-hmm. liked that book. It's a like Viking fantasy, uh, historical fantasy book. Um, I really enjoyed that. But that's the stuff that I, I really like yeah. to read too. So, but that was really fun because um, it had a little bit of a love story, but it also had the action adventure and the like historical elements to it. I really enjoyed that. Um, and I gushed about this one so much, but um, the Two Sir with Love by Lauren Lane. Oh my God. I was just going to say that. That, that was going to be the last one that I was going to yeah. say. I thought that one was so cute. Absolutely loved that one. Um Although sure. I still, when I see the title, think it's going to be like some sort of like BDSM kind of book. And it's not at all to sir with love. <laughs> yeah. But she's one that I've actually gone on to. Um, obviously, that's not part of a series, but I've gone on to read a lot of her stuff. And she's a really smart, like witty writer. I really mm-hmm. like her a lot. Um, and just knowing that she's super sweet anyway, just yeah. makes me want to read oh, her I really anymore. loved that book. That was yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then that book that we read, and I ha- the only reason why I haven't read more is because I think the second one only just came out, if it's even out yet, is Breed. Do you remember that? The dystopian one oh. um, where the people are like hybrid animal people and the girl yes. is trapped in, the, on their, in their yeah. world or whatever. Yeah. I enjoyed that one. Um, I just liked kind of like the whole concept behind it. And that was a really fun episode too, because- um, Oh my God, we were just Annalyn. like staring at her getting her makeup done. Yeah, I loved it. Was it was so mesmerizing. Yeah. So anyway, it's just, it's, it's just really interesting. Um, oh, yeah. you know what other one was really, really good. I mean, I feel like at this point, we've almost said every book that's been on here, but um, Private Property by Sky Warren. That was really good. I would actually, totally continue that series. I think it might be done now too. It is done, pretty sure. Yeah. I actually just finished. Oh, I guess I am reading. I did just finish one called um, Survival of the Richest. Um, it was just a quick read. Um, By Sky Warren? I, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It was clever though, the way she worked in uh, like mythology and stuff with, you know, these billionaire millionaire guys or whatever. It, mm. It's definitely like if you like billionaire romance or whatever. Mm. It's got a little, it's got edge to it though. It's not like a your typical romance or anything, but, um, yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. Uh, so anyways, all right. Um, I think the only one other one that like, I really wanted to mention, um, was Laurel Knight. Remember she did the Wolf yes. Stunned. That was a yes. good one. Oh yes. That was. And then that was the one where, um, she didn't like, she didn't met, like mate or hook up with anybody yeah. in that book. Yeah but it was like this. So it's like reverse of, harem, but yes. it's like super slow burn. So yes. I mean, there's a lot of sexual tension, but yes. there's not like, it's not super crazy. Yeah. That one was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, if we could go on and on, like, I mean, yes. I could have put Sarah Lyons Fleming's book on here, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I like, these are the people, like these are authors that I've never read before that I was just like, I could read their books again, you know? So yes. that was really exciting. And there's yes. so many other ones. That's why I was saying it was so hard because I go through the list and I was like, what What were we thinking? We would just pick one, one of our favorite, books, I know. The, the favorite book that we've read. And I'm like, no, 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 no. So anyways, that's why I was like, okay, how am I going to do this? Lizzie? Try and at least pick the ones at least that you've continued reading maybe in the series. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, our list goes on and on. But yeah. Um, it's, I mean, they're always fun to read, especially once you know the author and then you tell yes. more about the book and then it just makes you want to know more. I wish, I wish we could just sit around and read all the time and read all the books and all the series. Yeah. But and like looking back, going. looking back at all of these amazing books that we've had on here and all of these amazing authors, I just feel so honored to like, to have them like come and hang out with us, you know? I know. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. And then remember Vanessa Fewings came on and I remember that was, I think she's the, might be the only erotica author we've had on. Um, yes. I might be wrong. Oh my gosh. Yes. But I absolutely, I devoured her first book to the point where I went and got, it's like, it's eight book series. And I read the next three books in like a, in like a week. 
Um, I don't know why I didn't put her on the list, but again, so it's just like, <laughs> there's so many guys, like it's hard. It's yeah. really hard. Yeah. Um, I mean, like I remember, remember, um, uh, uh, Camille's book. Um, I'm, I can't think of what it's called. Oh um, yeah. Let's... Love it. Uh, she, well, so she came on for, uh, undead ultra, I think. Yeah. Undead ultra, which, um, <laughs> It's like so crazy about these ultra marathon runners and a zombie apocalypse, but it was so like gripping. Yeah, I know. I and know. I learned so much. I learned so much about yeah, running. Yeah, she's a really, she's a fantastic writer too. I actually was just looking at a, two blurbs that she wrote today and I was just like, I don't even know what the series is, but I need to read it because this blurb is like, so makes it sound so different than anything I've ever read, but it's a post-apocalypse or yeah, it's, it's like Zompok stuff. And I was just like, this is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. So yeah, I know she's really, she's really fun. Yeah. <sighs> but you know, we love books and we love authors. So I guess we could just find something good about all of them. You know, I know. I feel like I could just go down this list and be like, I know oh, it's I hard. this one because of this and you know, yeah. For sure. Mm. Anyway, well, we could talk about that forever, but we, we don't love have that kind of time. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't even we talk are... about like the books that we had in our special episodes that are, that we like picked out. We're like, oh, I really want to read this book. There's no way this author would ever want to come on our podcast, but we're going to yeah. read, like, you know. Yep. Like Addie LaRue. Yeah. So oh, good. so good. <sighs> that one I is like, well, I guess we're going to go get favorite books ever, but um, okay. So what do you want to talk about next? <laughs> do you want to do favorite books like, that we've read in general, not from the, the podcast, actually let's make it outside of the podcast period. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Um, so I, this is an, in, an impossible question, right? <laughs> I totally agree. I don't, again, I don't know why we do this for ourselves, but so I, um, I tackled this question, not by thinking like, what, it, what are my favorite books, but what are books that I have read over and over again? So that was, yeah, that makes sense. and I don't just read single books. I always read series. So that was how I looked at it. So I figured I would share some of my favorite, my all-time favorite series, but it's also really hard because I used to be, uh, based on the wall of books behind me, I used to be, a uh, you know, before I had an e-reader, um, and before I got super hardcore into audiobooks, I used to be a paperback and, um, hardcover reader. Uh, but now I'm almost completely, um, audio. Mm -hmm. And so then I was like, well, and then I was looking through my, my audible books and I've listened to some of those audio books so many times. Some of them, I have both audio and, um, paperback. So that was really hard for me to, to just even go through and see what I have and what I, you know, read through, but I did. Um, so I wanted to pull out, or I wanted to mention a few different series, um, one series, and I haven't even finished this series because it was one of those series. It's an urban fantasy series. It's a series that I had read through like six Book, book five or six and that was all that was out at the time and then I am one of those readers who especially if there's like a long time between when books come out I want to go back and reread the whole series before the next book comes out so I'm like totally ready um and so I was like okay well now I'm just going to pause because this series is going to go on for a while and I'm just going to wait till they're all out um so that is the um Cassie Palmer series by Karen Chance it's an urban fantasy series um it's, um, I love it so much. It's like really sexy. Um, but it's also, um, there's, and it's like a very straight up urban fantasy with like vampires and witches and, um, like warlocks or I, I don't know what you call them, but, um, and Faye, there's Faye. And, uh, but it, it was one of the first urban fantasy books that I read that really worked in like a lot of historical figures. And so a lot of the vampires are historical figures. Um, and one of her love interests is like one of the Dracula people, uh, not Vlad. Right. He would like went nuts. Um, it's like his brother. Uh, and uh, I just, I love, I love that series. So I'm really excited now that I'm like talking about it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back and read first you know, first book and go through the whole thing because there's like 10 books out now. Um, and then another one, my, like my all-time favorite urban fantasy series that is now being continued after we all thought it was done um, is the Hollows series by Kim Harrison. Oh my God, I love that series so much. <laughs> it has like just this perfect cast of, it's like on the less racy side of urban fantasy, which is a little bit of a bummer. 
Um, and also like my favorite love interest got killed off early on. Um, and everybody who's read that series knows exactly who I'm talking about. Um, but then she like, there's it's definitely an enemies to lovers, like long romance, which works out really well. And, um, it just has the perfect cast of supporting characters where like Rachel Morgan, the main character has this team that consists of, um, like a really sexy vampire chick named Ivy and, um, a pixie. <laughs> named Jenks who has a very foul mouth nice. <laughs> and it's just it's awesome and she has a gargoyle <laughs> he's really That's cool kind of cool yeah um yeah so those are I mean those are a couple and I had there's like so many more I could share but why don't you um share some of yours um I also was trying to figure out like books that really have stuck with me or that I've read over and over and um Michelle, and I've, you guys have all heard me talk about this, but <laughs> Michelle Moran, she writes mm -hmm. this series called, and I should have looked it up. I don't know if it's the Egyptian Royals collection or the Royals collection, but it's three books. Um, one is about Nefertiti, but it's told from her sister's point of view. It's an amazing book. The second one's even better. It's called The um, Heretic Queen, who is, it's about her niece who ends up marrying Ramses the second, I think. Um, and then the third one is called Cleopatra's Daughter, and obviously it's about Cleopatra's daughter after Cleopatra, after Cleopatra dies. Uh, spoiler alert, that happened in history, <laughs> so I don't feel like I'm spoiling that too much, but anyway, um, it's about her daughter, and um, I absolutely, I have reread every single one of those books at least three times, um, the last two, probably like five or six times. So um, absolutely love that one. She just has a way, Michelle Moran has a way of just bringing a world to life and making things, there's like palace intrigue mm. and just like these beautiful settings and these characters that just make, give you all the feels, you know, like right before, you know, something bad is going to happen, like your skin crawls or whatever. It just, it's so, she does it so well. So I absolutely love that. Um, so definitely recommend that series. Um especially if you like historical fiction. Um, and it's not like historical fantasy or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's straight up, um, it's historical fiction. And then, you know, I don't think you ever read it or listened to it, Lindsay, but a book, I've only listened to it once, but not because I haven't wanted to listen to it again, but I plan on it, is I absolutely love Madeline Miller's Song I knew you were going to say this. I knew you were going to say that. Song of Achilles. Yeah. I recommend it to anybody who loves historical fantasy, um, historical fiction, uh, mythology. It's so good. I haven't, yeah. I have the paperback, but I haven't actually read the paper, like read it. I've only listened to the audio and the audio book is phenomenal. So, I mean, Circe, her other movie, yeah. or movie, her other book, Circe is also fantastic as an yeah. audio book, but that's the one I, I love read. Song of Achilles. Yeah. Absolutely. And hands down. Um, I don't know who narr who narrates Song of Achilles, but um, uh, the narrator of Circe is I'm not gonna, I'm going to say her name wrong. I know it is um, Perdicia Weeks. She's an actress. Mm -hmm. um, she was in an amazing movie called As Above, So Below, which is totally underrated, and everybody needs to watch it because it's like a horror version of like an Indiana Jones kind of thing, and it is so good, so good started watching it actually no oh. it's been a little while I need to go back because Dennis oh fell asleep so I shut it off if like, that doesn't mean it's bad he just falls asleep I don't know Dennis yeah and you don't think it would be too scary for him oh <laughs> uh, are you kidding I'm the one who's like uh no I'm not watching this <laughs> right, am I like yeah. disturb his sleep oh oh for sure man he doesn't care like he's a freak don't worry about him okay <laughs> He likes to scare himself. He's a weirdo. Um, yeah. Any other, um, another quick one you want to throw? Oh, in? yeah. I mean, I feel like the one I always say is A Discovery of Witches and the yeah, All Souls trilogy. One. I knew you were going to expect that one. So I was trying to throw you off. <laughs> I figured that one would be in there. Um, yeah. Um, it's just, I love the, it's, um, it's kind of like a, um, like an academic paranormal series. Um, and it's got time travel. It's got kind of all the stuff that I love, you know, it's got vampires and witches and time travel and, um, romance. And I wish it was racier. Um, and, uh, I would say, um, I, I feel like it doesn't have the strongest finish. 
Um, and I think Diana, the main character, turns into a bit of a Mary Sue near the end. Um, but I still love it. God, I've read that first book so many times. <laughs> I haven't actually finished. I think I've read the first two books. That's it. It has so much history, so much historical stuff. Like I know, she's I need to go back. She's Deborah Harkness is a she's a historian, like by yeah, yeah. That's what like she's got like doctorates and you know. Um, yeah, I, I just love, I think that first book is about as perfect as a book can get for me, like yeah. for hitting all my buttons. I just wish it was a little, a little sexier. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. Yeah, yeah. And then we already mentioned the, um, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. We definitely, Ugh. we both loved that and recommend that book to anybody yeah. who, anybody, everyone's heard of it. If you haven't heard of it, check it out. If you have heard of it and you've been on the fence about it, read it. Um, it's really, really good. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, I could go on and on. I have like a whole list here, but I'm like, okay, Lindsay, stop. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm saying like, there's so many books that I've read and reread. Um, yeah. And authors that I could just keep recommending. Okay. So next question. I mean, obviously you probably have a really long wish list of all the books you want to read, but pick one book, just one, because we're going to run out of time. Pick one book that has been on your list to read that you just haven't gone around to yet that you can't wait to read. Oh, see, I- Or series. I interpreted this question differently. Oh, what, what was yours? I interpreted it as a wish list as an, of an author that we wanted to have on. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. I already know mine. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So mine was Sarah J. Mass or Moss, ah. however you say it, just because I really loved the Throne of Glass series. I mean, I know she's like the it, the it fantasy romance author, but um, <laughs> I really loved um, the Throne of Glass series. And I am in the middle of the um, Court of Thorns and Roses series. And I think she is so awesome at... Um, helping like holding your hand and helping you transition from one love interest to another <laughs> like and taking me from a point where I was like all in on someone and I'm like I don't know I remember when I was reading a court of thorns and roses I was like I really like Tamlin I know for people who've read the series you can slap me right now. Um, I was like, oh man, I really like Tamlin. Like, I don't know how she's going to make me not like Tamlin. Oh my God. I hate Tamlin. <laughs> okay. She did, she did it. She did it. Okay. So my wish list author would be, uh, Laura Thalassa. Um, oh yeah. We talked, she has the Bargainer series yes. or actually, I actually don't know what that series is actually called, but the, I think uh, it's called talk, the Bargainer. Yeah. So I thought, okay. Yeah. Um, but more specifically the four horsemen series, which I, um, am, I have the second book, um, and the third book audio right now. So I'm excited to dive into those because the four horsemen idea, as I've mentioned before, blew my mind and I absolutely am in love with it. And I have major envy. So I would love to have her on the show and pick her brain. Cool. So I think she's a really fun writer and she's super creative. Um, so I, yeah, so she, she's, she'd be on my, my wish list for sure. Cool. So, okay. So honestly, for me, the hardest question is the question coming up. That was my hardest question to answer, which was, and maybe I misinterpreted this one too, but we had, we said, which one of the books that we've written oh, yes. okay. are our favorite. Okay. I, so I you can mind. go first. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I'm sure people can guess this. It's going to be Song of Scarabs and Fallen Stars. Like, I'm so obsessed with this book. It's ridiculous. Okay. Like, can't okay. get over it. So that's clearly an easy one for you. <laughs> yeah. What about you? <laughs> I actually really struggled because, I mean, I could tell you all the reasons, but mostly um, what I ended up doing is picking the book that gives me all like that I really went through my own journey writing it and I was really invested in like had all the feels in at first it was going to be earth and ember because I absolutely love that story and the world that I created mm -hmm. in that story but who really gets me like really tugs at my heartstrings is Jackson and Elle's story in Aww. the darkest winter so I'm going with the darkest winter I think that book overall gave me all the feels while I was writing it um, so 
yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with that one. It's got like the really gut wrenching stuff. It's got a, it's like a, a slow burn romance to it mm -hmm. still. Um, it's got that hope and that sense of family, even though they're all strangers. It's and got Jason survival. Momoa. <laughs> yeah um no he's not in my book just so everybody's like flipping they're like searching jason wait the what name. i um, mean he's like just a different name yeah so he's like a you know he's my jackson inspiration um so it's actually really funny because everyone knows that i you know love him and so somebody posted in my reader group they're like i don't it's like a meme and it says i don't know who needs to hear this but you do have no chance with jason momoa <laughs> I was just laughing because <laughs> I was like, yeah, everyone's like, oh, he's finally single. And I was like sad and heartbroken because I think his, his, you know, his story is so beautiful with how he met his wife and stuff. But, um, it was just hilarious because everyone's like, oh, finally. And it's like, you have zero chance. What are you excited about? Finally. <laughs> you know, it's just funny. It was Let hilarious. me get my makeup on. I'm going out tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I love my readers. They crack me up. So, anyway, so that was the book that I picked. Um, and make yours does make sense, though. I actually wasn't even thinking about that one, about that one, so that does make sense. Song of Scarabs and Fallen Stars. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it has everything that I love about like. It's like I don't know. It, feel, it feels like a culmination of everything that I've done so far. It's it's got my Egypt stuff. It's got time travel. Yeah. It's got so much like darkness it's got like a dark dark hero and it's got just like just like a lot of darkness <laughs> apparently I was in a dark place yeah. <laughs> um I was not in a dark place just FYI <laughs> um but it, and it's like super sexy and I'm so excited about where it's going and it continues like my favorite world and yeah I just Very love cool. it and I got to write Cat, who I love <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> And Nick, I like the I love Nick. even more. I like the Nick. I was say I like the Nick <laughs> chapters the best. Um, no, I haven't read it. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, anyway, so no, that's cool. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. That was just a hard question for me. Yeah, I think I have. There's something kind of special about you know, you you yeah, pick something each in each of your book. Yeah, that it for just sure. Really resonates and yeah, for sure. So I kind of thought you rough. might say whatever it takes because I know that's a really special book for you. Yeah, you know, it's funny because I was actually thinking about uh, Nothing But Trouble, actually, about that one. Really I, yeah, that one's also special very special too. Yeah, you. so again, there's like yeah. very special things in all of them. So it was, it was really hard. Yeah. Um, and I think the only ones that I've actually cried while I was writing them are actually Midnight Sun and Untamed. And Untamed was one of my favorite stories because that was just Bo's journey with Bear. And mm. I really liked that one. Um, and I, so I think, I mean, that one, I think I was going, like, I was pretty torn between, uh, the, um, Darkest Winter and Untamed because that one gave me all the feels too. So I was like, if it makes, if it gets me teary eyed when I'm actually writing it, I guess mm -hmm. it means something special to me. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that happened with the Darkest Winter, but still every time I hear, like, I hear bits of it or I read what re I read like reviews or what people send me messages or whatever and they say they mention certain things and I remember it and I was like oh my god yeah like I remember that and that really struck a chord with me too and stuff so yeah I think that's why I'm really looking forward to um I mean okay so I I like Egypt ancient Egypt I like I grew up wanting to be an Egyptologist like ancient Egypt has been my love since I was like a, a very little girl um, and I think that's why I'm so excited about Song of Scarabs and Fallen Stars and why I'm also so excited about reading Echo in Time for this new podcast, um, is because I just, I love that world so much because it's, it, it like links me to the, it's like a way for me to connect with ancient Egypt, even though I never get, I never did become an Egyptologist. Right. Like I still get to do all the historical research. Like maybe I don't get to like go to Egypt and dig in the sand and stuff, but <laughs> yeah. I still, I still get to do the historical research and learn more about like this in, <laughs> insanely long span of time. Um, it, you know, yeah, that happened in the Nile Valley. That's cool. Yeah. Well, there you have it Ooh. folks. Yeah. That was us trying very poorly, I might add, to sum up the last 50 episodes. <laughs> Let's just recite every single book we've ever read. I know. 
like, and oh, enjoyed. but on this list. Oh, but on this. <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's, I'm like, I'm like, oh, but wait, let me also mention this book. Like you guys need to read this book and also this book and also this book. Like I get, ugh. You know what might be interesting for us to do? I don't know, like we should talk more about it offline, but it could be interesting to have some sort of like a, some sort of a, a list of all of our, like, I know that they can look at what our ep- episodes are, but does it, it says the book title and the author, but do, it's almost like if we had a cheat sheet of by genres or something like that could be really interesting for people so, to be like what they want to, yeah. which so I episodes know you they want to listen to. I know you can make book lists um, using books to read, and then you can organize them. Um, so like you could put them on different shelves, um, which that would be something we could think about because then we can also put all the links to the different retailers and the audiobooks and stuff. The only thing is, is we would have to like do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a lot of time intensive, it's a lot yeah. of work. Anyway, something just, cause I mean, it just came to my attention, right. Trying to do this about how many great books we've read and how hard it is to, you know, just pick a few and be like, Hey, you should read these. Cause they're great. Yeah. Like there were so many that we liked, we had a really hard time with this list. And so I don't know, it could be just something for us to think about yeah. how we can make our, our, our guests and their episodes you know, more accessible and organized for listeners. I don't know. Yeah. So we could like organize it by genre and then like list which, which episode Mm -hmm. it was in, Mm -hmm. just organize it differently. I think that's a great idea. And I think we will totally do that. All right. Well, we're running out of time. So absolutely loved chatting about all this though. It was nice revisiting the past. It was quite lovely. Um, I do want to say, um, (laughs) before we go, I want to mention, um, two things. Uh, one is, uh, I'm going to put the link for my discord group in here. Uh, you guys should totally come check it out because it's really fun. Cause she's gonna be reading sex scenes, Mm, sex scenes. (laughs) Thanks. (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) Um, and also I am now on TikTok. (laughs) And welcome I, to the club, lady. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I'm just sharing like all kinds of like little insider sneak peeks, bloopers, just it's, like everything book related. And um, it's just so fun. I love it. So definitely um, come look for me. I'm at author Lindsay Sparks on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. And uh, LP is also on TikTok. I know. <gasps> author Lindsay Pogue. <laughs> <laughs> She's been author on author Lindsay's while, author Lindsay's. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for listening. We will have, um, probably our fullest ever, um, show notes. <laughs> yeah. <probably. laughs> um, don't forget to check. So yeah, don't forget to check that out. Um, for just like everything that we talked about. Um, and we will be back in a couple weeks to talk, um, with, uh, I like lost her name on here, Kristen Proby. Um, and she is going to be on here uh, to chat with us about Take a Chance with Me, which is a fun contemporary romance book. Yes. And she seems so sweet. I cannot wait to chat with her. Uh, I think yeah. she's going to be a really pleasant, uh, fun addition to our lovely author interview. Whoop, whoop. So if you are enjoying the show, we would love it if you left us a uh, 50th episode present uh, in the form (laughs) of a rating and or a review on iTunes and or anywhere else that you listen that accepts ratings. I know um, Audible does. Um, And don't forget to join the No Shelf Control Facebook group linked to in the show. Oh, this is, oh, sorry. Now I'm just like bumbling over my words. Um, sorry, the No Shelf Control Facebook group linked to in the show notes. And until next time, everybody, happy reading. Happy reading adventures. Be safe. Yay. Yay.